going on everybody and welcome to uh, my top seven money making methods using combat uh, these will be mostly for higher uh, tier medium to higher tier um, there is one or two in there for lower tiers but um, for lower like tier levels but for the most part it will be higher esque levels or medium uh, levels um, I'll do another video for lower levels um, if wanted Plus, I'll be doing uh, skilling or slash non-combat methods uh, in the next video. But for now, it is just seven uh, use uh, seven methods uh, for good money an hour um, that is using combat only. So uh, let's begin. Okay, so for this next method, we are going to be doing giant mole. Um, you will be needing the Falador Shield three uh, to do this efficiently. Uh, you can do it without the shield, uh, shield 3 or 4, but you can do it with pre that, but you won't have this little um, arrow on your mini map that will show you where to go. Now, of course, as with all these, you can downgrade or upgrade the gear as um, your bank allows, um, but this is what I bring for fairly decent uh, killing speed. The like the gear that will transfer to both sides because you'll be doing Darox, 1 HP and then when you get it down to low you're going to change over to Zamora Costa. So you're going to want to bring your Darox of course, uh, Barrow's Gloves, Primordials, uh, Bearing Eye, Fire Cape, a Blessing as I think this drops Iron Arrows but yeah you probably won't need to pick those up and by the time that you um, by the time you have inventory space open you can pick it up however uh, it's not really worth picking up. Um, and then Darox Plus, now you can you can uh, decide yourself if you want to bring like a Bando switch. If you have that, then bring it. If you don't, then you don't need to bring it. You can just stay in the Darox and just switch over to this. You want the Warrior's Helm as it gives better uh, pure attack stats than the Nets Helm does. Uh, Dragon Offender and the Zamora Costa. Um, and then you'll just change over to this. Um, you'll just super combat, get down to 1 HP using the Rock Cake here. Uh, you bring high ox because this does drop uh, Adam and swords and whatnot. So that's just simply you'll just kill it until it starts bearing away. Now you can hit up to 60s, maybe even 70s on this. So you'll just guzzle down until you hit one. You cannot die from this, so you can just ooh, keep guzzling all the way. And um, yeah, you just put on your melee prayer. Um, make sure make sure you have your melee prayer up when you go towards it, because even if you if you don't put it up, it can easily one-hit you, as you will be at 1 HP. So yeah, this is the method. This makes about, if you're doing it good, about 500k an hour, plus you have a chance at a pet, and it's fairly simple and relaxing, as it doesn't really take too much um, effort to do, uh, as long as you have your pair up. As you can see, I'm not even combat put it up. I'm not even, I'm not even 1 HP, and you see, boom, it was that easy, and I made... 17k off of that kill right there. So it's a fairly good method. It's really easy to bank as it's in uh, Falador. Plus you can just drop your shovel at the start for some extra inventory space. Boom, boom. And you're good to go. So yeah, on to the next method. And our next method is a fairly well-known method, but it is Wyvern's uh, the melee in case you don't know how this is done. Uh, this is probably similar, maybe even a little bit better than Mole, especially if you get a Visage drop. Um, with this, you'll simply just be bringing of course, downgrade the gear as you need. Um, but if you want more higher end gear for better profits, you're going to want a Warrior's Helm. Yes, most people bring Nets Helm, uh, but Nets Helm is better for defense. And you're just really at this gear and everything, you're just looking for just pure damage. Um, so with the whip, at least, the Warrior's Helm is better. Um, you'll bring a DFS or a Mind Shield um, or an Element Shield. You'll just want your bandos, amulet torture, fire cape, or toggle cape if you have that. Um, the primordials, barrels gloves, circling eye, and a blessing. Blessing isn't actually needed. I just had that on for when I was doing mole still. But you can use it if you're wanting to prayer flick or for the end when you do use up your prayer. But you'll be getting arrow and bolt drops so you can save an inventory spot by keeping it in there. Um, next to that, in my rune pouch I just bring house teleports I bring a herb sack as you will get herbs from this um, and then you can just put them in there make a little bit extra profit from there the wyvern bones are a good bit of money and as you can see they are fairly good money um, hence why a lot of people do do them um, obviously most people AFK them but doing melee is better as you will get more kills per hour um, more kills more money and every so often uh, you'll get a 
a visage. Um, it's I think it's a one in ten k, so it's not like it it'll it'll take a while, but you will get that. So yeah, that is another method. So let's move on to the next method. Okay, so the next three methods are going to be uh, fairly similar. Um, they all require a Slayer level like the last one but I, that I forgot to mention, but I did pop up on screen um, what it was. Um, the first one is going to be the Kurax. Now, all these three methods I'm about to mention, uh, I'll make about the same to uh, same GP, about 500-700k an hour, depending on how hard you're trying, because um, they've recently been updated. Now, normally you would just do them on Slayer, but, you know, you can do mon them for money if you'd like. Um, so with the Kurask, there are any special things. You have to use a leaf bladed weapon. Now there's a leaf bladed spear, sword, bad lax, and there's also broad bolts and broad arrows. But you're very likely the best thing to use is the broad sword, or the broad sword, the uh, leaf bladed sword. Um, you'll just be bringing your best damage gear, um, blessing, fire cape, torture, bearing eye, whatever you have, the best gear you have that you can bring. I just want to bring a super combat, a bunch of monkfish, uh, a teleport if you have a Slayer's Ring, that's good to bring. Uh, you want the Herb Sack, and you'll also want a Rune Pouch. You want to put in uh, Nature Runes, um, Lava Runes, and Water Runes, because that'll give you the option to do High Elk plus do Bones to Peaches. Uh, and it's fairly cheap to do those, uh, if you do have Bones Peaches unlocked, and if you don't, then you don't need to do this. It's not that hard to bank if you, if you have the agility level to get here, plus you have Slayer Rings. Uh, like the agility just to cross over. If not, you can run around. It just takes another maybe 30 seconds to a minute to get here. So it's really not that bad, and these guys can be pretty good money, as you've seen. I've already gotten just there alone. 7k, and these do not take that long to kill. Uh, so yeah, that is the first of the three methods. Uh, three methods, I just mean these three, like, kind of tasks that you normally only do on Slayer, but now you can also do for profit. Uh, there's obviously more than just three methods in this video. Somehow, even after talking about my blunder at Wyvern, it's not saying the Slayer uh, level, I didn't say it here, uh, these are 70 Slayer to kill. So these are the, I think the, yeah, the lowest of the uh, creatures that I will be mentioning, as these are level 70 and the Wyverns are level 72, and it goes up from there. Okay, and for the next one, now this is probably one of the um, more, less AFK methods, as for example, these these ones basically you have to click on, they won't auto it auto retaliate onto you so they're kind of annoying in that aspect but they are again pretty good money plus because they're in the catacombs you do have a chance of getting totem pieces um, plus arc like charges so they're not too bad now there is another place you can kill them where they're not as tough of a level uh, but they do not drop as good drops there uh, here all we're changing over is so just changing to the abyssal whip plus defender um, you'll still want to bring your herb sack. If you have a seed box, you can bring that as you do drop a good amount of seeds. Uh, but next to that, you'll just super combat up. Just keep killing. You just have to click on each one. Uh, the little spawn thing that's pop up, you don't have to kill those. Those really won't do much damage to you uh, in the long run, and you can just go through them. Uh, they are probably a solid 4 500k. They're obviously better on stair tasks. They're obviously better if you barrage them, but you'll be losing the money in runes, so you won't actually make any money. Uh, so yeah, on to the next method. Plus for this one, you'll just need to bring High Elks as they do drop Ash, so you can't turn their bones into anything. Okay, so our last Slayer method here uh, takes 75 Slayer, and they are Gargoyles. Obviously very good. Um, they've been recently buffed with all the other ones, with the Necreals and the Karasks. Uh, well, recently-esque. It was a bit ago, but it was in the time span of Runescape recent. Um, Plus, there has been an actual recent um, update where there's now a Slayer-only area in the bottom of the K of the Slayer Tower, so it's less crowded up here. It's still pretty crowded, but it is less crowded. Um, these are better than neck reels as they do aggro onto you. The only real thing you want is you want to have the perk to be able to uh, use the rock hammer automatically. Um, and if you have the money for it, a bludgeon, I unfortunately do not, but that is better here. Uh, plus, if you want, you can bring Guthans like this man does, but with how fast this is the bank and everything, it's not really worth using the time to use Guthans. Slaying, you have the Slayer Rings plus the agility to get up the um, chain on the bottom floor. And yeah, you basically just go here. All you want to bring is just your High Alks, and these are somewhere in the area of 500 to 700k an hour if you're going pretty hard and you have somewhat good gear. Plus, they are in the same sense of they they attack you so it's a lot more AFK you just have to like you know make sure you super combat's all up make sure you're looting there somewhat efficiently 
and you should be good to go. So that is the end of the Slayer Required uh, section, I guess, and uh, on to the uh, bigger money. Okay, and for this next method, we are going to be getting Zamorak Robes. Uh, this was a fairly recent method, actually. Um, it was updated recently that the monks here drop have a 100% chance of dropping both the legs and um, body each kill. Plus, they are now uh, the best mage robes in free-to-play. So all you're going to need for this is obviously access to this area, plus the teleport crystals, which is the quest that I cannot remember, but I will put up on screen somewhere. Um, plus, just teleports to your house if you have a POH with the rejuvenation pool in it. Uh, plus teleports. If not, then just a ring of uh, dueling will work perfectly fine. Um, and you're just going to want to teleport over to the place up there, which name is again eluding me, and just run down here um, into this cave over here. Just uh, you know, just just running. Um, I have tested this before, and I did make a, somewhere about 700k in the hour that I tested it. Uh, I was getting about two minute or so, um, like, runs. Um, you will need to hop a world. Um, now, with the fact that it's really fast, you can just throw in your piety uh, each time you come here. Just throw that on. You can almost one-hit these guys. I just wear void as I won't run out of stamina. Uh, you just go, literally, the, the thing that will take the most amount of time is just picking up the robes. But as you can see, sometimes you'll hit bad, but that's just this game. Um, and each kill, you're making about 2.8k. Uh, so you'll do your inventory, you'll just teleport out, boom, to your house or whatever method you have. Restore your health, replenish your run, replenish your prayer, boom, just run back, keep going. You'll make somewhere in the area of, I think it was somewhere around 700k. Um, more and more people are starting to know about this method and do it, but uh, it's still fairly fairly viable right now, as it is still pretty good, pretty good money. As this is the best mage gear for free to play, so as long as free to play is active, this will be fairly good money. As these top whatever amount of things have to always have, there has to be a bonus clip. Um, so this is basically a bonus method of just your battle stats. Most people know this, but a lot of people forget to do it. Uh, 7k. Now, the better your Varrock Diaries are, the more you'll get stabs, up to 120 a day if you have the Elite done, 60 hard, 30 medium, 15 easy, but they're still good money each day. Uh, 7k, you claim it, yes, boom, now you have 60 stabs, and each one sells for 8.8k, so you just made however much, 100, what is it, 110k or so, I think it is, um, on the 60 stabs that I make, so if you're the leech, you'll make 220k each day for literally teleporting to Varrock Square, buying those, boom. So it's fairly simple, you, you should probably do it. Okay, and for our last method, obviously uh, it is going to be Zolra. Um, Zolra was nerfed um, a couple months back, but it is still somewhere around 1.6 to 1.8 mil an hour, depending on um, what you get. Um, the supplies for it are a lot cheaper now, um, the, so you have your void range set up, you'll want to have, now of course, uh, go with what gear you can afford, uh, obviously, you can do this with a lot less gear, um, I do have another video on my channel going in more in depth onto the Zolra, um, gear guides for different levels, but this is a, you want to get pretty fast, you have money and you want to get pretty fast, um, money. So you'll have on a Void Range Helm, now you can change this up, uh, this is just a really simple, um, easy getup. Then you want to have your Zamorak Cape, uh, Cold Necklace, just because it does really good with the trend of the swamp that we have right here. Um, we have Arams, you have a Melediction Ward, your Eternal Boots, your Barrow's Gloves, and your Ring of Suffering. Obviously if you can imbue that, uh, that is good to go. Um, and then you want your Void, your Blowpipe, a neck, uh, necklace of anguish, and your Avis accumulator. If you have range cape, you could probably just uh, place that with this, or place, uh, yeah, place the uh, accumulator and the Zamora cape with that. Uh, you'll have an imbued heart, a ranging potion, anti venom, and a prayer potion for killing. Now I need to use the agility uh, potion to get to the use the Zolder shortcut. Uh, some people might need, need to use the summer pie. Um, you really without the Zolder shortcut. 
it's a lot less money per hour because you have to run to a charter ship and then go down to Zola like that. But um, now you can either now there's two methods to use the fairy rings to get there, which is the much more effective method, unless you're using Barrow's teleports, which they were somewhat recently updated to where there's more um, teleport Zolar teleports than there used to be, because they were nerfed and now they're buffed and that. But either way, so first up you're going to use your fairy ring in your house if you have that, or if not, then you're going to use a slayer ring, and then you're wanting to go to the Slayer Strongholds is number, no, not number one, not number one, number three, my bad, Relic of Slayer Cave. Then you just want to step right outside the door here, and also if you have Quest Cape, you can use that too, but just for, just for the sake of this, either of these two work, plus an Arty Cape can also get you to fairing pretty good. Uh, but by the time you're doing Zola, you probably have one of those, the uh, Quest Cape, the Slayer Ring, well, Slayer Ring is the easiest one to get, of course, your house one is your best one, and then the quest cape and you'll just go in here and you can teleport over to Zolra which I will just type in the code and I will be back in a second. For some reason didn't even think to get that pre uh, written in there and then you'll be here you'll just use your agility potion jump over here and then you'll have to do Zolra now I'm assuming that you someone know how to do Zolra there's a lot better guide so I can explain it because I I'm not really good at explaining Zolra as the best the the, honestly, the best method to explain it is to you're gonna lose money for the first for the first little bit. You're just gonna have to keep going, dying, going, dying until you learn it properly. Um, it is not that hard once you once you learn how how it's done. It's really easy, but until that point, it is pretty hard. Um, but yeah, so just go in here, kill the Zolra. You'll make somewhere around 1.6 to 1.8 mil an hour. Uh, that is the Currently, the second best method, actually, uh, for money, the best method is a, a more time-consuming method, but that's raids. Now, I'm not going to show you anything about that, as I don't really have the gear for raids right now. Um, plus, that isn't something that's con as consistent. You'll make, over time, you'll make more money doing raids, because if, if you get something like a twist the bow drop or whatnot, right? But any drop really makes you a lot of money, plus just the normal drops make you something. Um, but they're not really, it's not really that consistent, and if you're a medium, uh, medium to, like, beginning your high-level stages, you won't have really the money or the skill to be able to do raids, so you'll have to slowly work your way into that, so I'm not going to mention that in here, but that is better than Zolder, of course, it's, that's the best money in the game right now, but I'm not going to be mentioning that uh, any much further than what I have already. Uh, so yes, uh, that is the video, thank you for watching, hopefully this helped you, and... Goodbye.